I don't know my way around this collection yet, that's quite exciting. <laughs> right, the second uh, poem is dedicated to a very fine novelist uh, called Stanley Middleton, who Dave and myself were very close to, who lived on Culloden Road, um, and who we would see regularly. Um, we went round there often for chats about books, and he was just such a, such a special man to both of us. A couple of years ago, we were on holiday um, in Scotland. We were actually on the island of Jura, and we knew that he had not got very long to live. And we went on a fantastic walk all along the Jura coastline, which ended up in this walled garden, which sadly has now been bought by someone who's closed it to the public. And uh, that infuriates me because it was such a, such a beautiful place to be. Different sky. We talk and walk the Dura headland. You are with us, yet miles away in your final bed. We are alone, but not alone. A pheasant stalks among parched grasses. Eagles soar hot blue. We brush through shoulder-high bracken, stride out to an uninhabited island, rest a while on soft moss, secretive mountain saxifrage. After exploring the beach beneath, we come up through trees, from one delicious emptiness into another, a walled garden. The birds have it to themselves. Some shriek at our arrival, fly fast between each outdoor room, skim the tops of shrubs, scud across rose beds, cast shadows over lush lawns, sweep and rush us onward, eager to regain their kingdom. A blackbird lies low in the semi-privet shade, wings half-spread. Is he sunning himself or waiting? In the meadow, where lucifer dragonflies hover over oxeye daisies, an unexpected tea tent, unmanned but with china cups and cordials, shortbread and homemade bunting, the perfect place for an assignation. We sip tea and linger. A white cat flits between guy ropes, skips over tables, looking for leavings. Nearby, in an ancient glass house, a green finch beats frantically against vine-covered windows, out of reach and beyond help. It is tiring with effort now, aching to escape to a different sky.